Lunatics, welcome back to the channel. I really appreciate you guys watching this episode. Today's episode is gonna be all about the Tatula LT spinning reel. If you're new to the channel, please give me a subscribe. And if you have any questions while you're watching this, make sure to leave a comment down below. And if you like this review of this reel, then make sure to give it a thumbs up as well. But um, if you've been watching my content for a while, you'll know that I've been using a lot of the 3000 size spinning reels. Um, I had a Daiwa Fuego, great reel. Shimano NASCI, another great reel. Those are both $100 reels. But I decided to mix it up, move up in size, and move up in a little bit better quality reel. And let's talk about it. And I'm also gonna show you guys some fish catches on my first trip out using this reel. So like I said a second ago, if you guys have been watching my content for a while, you'll know that I used to throw the 1000 size spinning reels. I wanted the, the smaller ones because it just felt a little bit more comfortable in my hand. It was lighter, but I, but I kept feeling like I had to reel too many times in order to bring up enough slack in order to set the hook on some fish that I was getting bit on. So I was thinking about everything and decided that, you know, going up in size is going to help me to retrieve more line as I'm reeling that reel help me get to set the hook a little bit faster and I think that it's going to help me hook more fish and land more of those fish because I'm going to get better hook sets as well and uh, so that's the main reason why I wanted to do that and then when I was doing my research I was realizing that if I just went up a little bit in price to the Tatula LT I could get a bigger reel the 3000 size for even just barely less weight than what my Fuegos were before. Um, I really like the Fuego. I, I recommend it. It's a great buy for a hundred bucks, but I wanted to try something else and um, decided to go with the LT, Tatula LT, and I'm really, really happy with it. And I'm really happy with this 3000 size as well. There's one. There's a fish. Fish on. First fish on the new reel. Decent one. Not a giant, but a decent one. Test out this little drag system we got going on. First fish on the new reel. I was liking it so far. Not a bad fish. That's actually pretty small, but we got one. We got one on the drop shot. There we go. So far, the new reel's a little fishy. Haven't first spot, new reel. Gotta love it. One of the first things that I noticed with this reel is that I can definitely bring in more line a lot faster than I can on my smaller size spinning reels. Now, if you're somebody that really likes that smaller size spinning reel because it's more comfortable, then more power too, go for it. And, and I was doing that for probably the last two, three years, I was using those smaller size spinning reels. But already I can tell that I'm happy with going up in size to this 3000 size, because right away I could tell that I was bringing in more line and bringing in a lot faster. So if you get that bite and you're about ready to set the hook, you can reel down on that fish a lot faster than you can with a smaller size. Because while I was fishing today, I had one of my smaller size reels out and this new one, and it was just night and day. I could just tell a lot of difference between how much cranking I had to do on the smaller size compared to this one. Now getting into the performance of the reel, I'm really happy with it. It was super smooth to reel. The drag worked really well. This bigger handle, I'm not gonna lie, I was a little bit suspect about it at first because I'm so used to the smaller handles on my spinning reels, but after using this for a little bit, it's really comfortable. It gives you a real big area to be able to grab. So if you're trying to, if you're just like fishing the, the rod and reel like this and you go to grab it, it's easy to find. You're not fumbling to find it. Uh, cast really well, the line came off the spool really, really well. So far, I'm really happy with this reel. Oh, there's a fish. Another one. Another fish. I like this reel. I'm really liking it. I like the way the drag is. Oh, there's a fish. Biting good. There we go. There we go. 
two fish two small ones so this reel comes in at 189 and i know for some of you that's going to be too much but I really think it's worth going up to that higher price point if you can do it. If you can't do it, I definitely recommend the Shimano NASCI, and I also recommend the Daiwa Fuego. Those are both great reels. I've been using them for a couple of years now, haven't had any issues, but when I'm able to go up to a higher, to a bigger size spinning reel, which is gonna allow me to reel down to get a hook set into the fish faster, it's gonna help me fight that fish faster, get it in the boat faster, and not sacrifice any weight, not sacrifice any performance, not sacrifice any drag abilities that this reel has I think it's worth going up to that higher price point but if that's not the case and you can't do that I definitely would take a look at the Daiwa Fuego and the Shimano NASCI both great reels but I'm gonna be moving all mine over to this Daiwa Tatula LT so if you're in the market for a new spinning reel, I highly recommend this Daiwa Tatula LT. I definitely think if you head over to Omnia Fishing and get this reel for yourself, you're gonna be really happy with it. Well guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed learning a little bit more about this Daiwa Tatula LT spinning reel that I got. Like I said, I'm gonna be moving all of mine over to this reel. I'm really, really happy with it. I just really like the, the fact that I can go up to a bigger size reel, keep that weight down, which is, which is important to me, and not sacrifice any performance or anything like that. So you're definitely gonna see more of these on the channel. And um, I hope you liked today's video. And if, if you did, make sure to like it. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe to my channel. I'd really appreciate it. And if you have any questions or anything like that, make sure to leave them in the comment section. I'll be sure to answer. So again, hope you liked today's video and I will see you guys later. See ya.